Welcome to one more BTC lab. This time we'll discuss the centrifuge camera technique. Back in February 2016, skier Nicolas Vunier captured the world's imagination with a video shot using his centrifuge, a plastic glider that lets you swing a camera around your head and have the lens constantly pointed towards you. What you need to make your own. GoPro camera, wooden hanger, cardboard, flat adhesive mount, fishing line, glue, revolving handle or something similar. The first step is to remove the hook part of the hanger, also remove the wooden rod at the bottom, you don't need them. Apply the flat adhesive mount to a smooth and fully clean surface. A textured surface or any imperfection to a smooth surface can keep the adhesive from making a strong bond. Optionally, you can screw them out to the hanger, but be careful, the screws must be flush to the surface, otherwise the quick release buckle will not be able to slide in and out. Firmly press the mount into place, ensuring full contact over the entire surface area. Be sure to apply the mount at room temperature and also allow at least 24 hours for the mount to properly adhere to the surface. Locate the holes at the bottom of the hanger and drill them all the way through. Then you attach the fishing line. Start from the sides. We use the improved clinch knot. Measure approximately 120 centimeters and cut it. Do the same on the other side. Now let's make the handle. The key feature of the handle is the ability to spin freely so we have a smooth rotation. We use a revolving handle. The reason for this is that the line will be caught on your fingers or the handle itself. This will result to a non-smooth rotation or an abrupt end of the flight. Finally, we attach the line to the handle using the same knot. The final part is the cardboard fin. We cut a triangular fin out of the cardboard and attach it to the side of the hanger. This will help to stabilize the centrifuge during the flight. Now let's attach the GoPro. We attach the camera to the quick release buckle and slide it in the flat adhesive mount. We can use the rubber locking plug for extra security. Don't forget to tighten the screw. One final touch and we are ready to fly! Now the fun part, here are some video shots with our center phone. After we shoot the footage we need to do a little bit of post-production. Because of the high frame rate the video is too fast so we need to slow it down. We can use a program like Adobe Premiere Pro. To do this let's follow the following steps. After we import the video and drag it to the timeline we right click on it and select speed duration. Then on the speed percentage field type for example 30%. Then click OK. This will slow down the video from 120 FPS to 36 FPS and will give a slow motion effect. Don't go under 24 FPS. Here are some useful tips. Experiment with the angle and the position of the camera buckle so that you don't see the wooden hanger. Keep a steady pulse for the rotation. Slow rotation will lead to jiggling. Avoid it. The better the handle, the easier the rotation. Don't use rope but strong fishing wire. If you want to make it waterproof, use a plastic fin. Thanks for watching. You can see our previous BTC labs here. If you like this video, click like. 
If you dislike it, click dislike. If you feel neither of these, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe in any case and see you in the next BTC Lab. Our first try was much easier and also let's say for the GoPro, but it was good enough to make us want to learn more about this technique.